everyone. I want to welcome you back to Kathy's Creole Kitchen. Today we're going to be making the epitome of a Louisiana Southern dish, a Southern sweet potato cake. Okay, this is this speaks volumes about the South and Louisiana. The first thing I'm going to do is give you the ingredients. We need to have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one tablespoon of ground ginger, two sticks of butter, right here, um, and it's unsalted by the way, two cups of sugar, I use um, organic unbleached sugar, three large eggs, they're in the bowl here, one tablespoon of vanilla, and two and a half cups of mashed cooled sweet potatoes and one cup of buttermilk. So that's that's what we're gonna put all together here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna turn that on while I'm preparing the cake for us. Okay, now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take, um, oh, and we gotta have three eight inch pans. Let me pause and go get those pans and show you how to prepare them. Okay, so I have greased and floured these pans and now I'm going to put a, I'm aligning it with parchment paper on the bottom. And let me tell you, parchment paper is a lifesaver because it keeps things from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Have you ever had the problem where when you go to get the cake out of the pan, it sticks to the pan and then you have a big chunk of it missing because it's in the bottom of the pan? Well, this prevents all that. And you're still gonna need to spray that paper with some cooking spray and put some flour on it again. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little flour in it again. Just sprinkle it with flour because you do not, do not want your cake to stick to the bottom. And because this is kind of like a moist cake, it, it probably will stick. So that's why we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. So let me ask you guys, have y'all been looking at my videos? And if so, why am I not getting any notes about what you cook and how your family likes it? It's real important that I get feedback. And it's even more important that you tell your friends about my page. Tell your friends about my page, Kathy's Creole Kitchen, and have them sign up for it because the more subscribers I get, the more I want to do this. But if nobody's looking or watching, then I don't know what I'm doing it for, you know, because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy teaching people how to cook certain dishes and just how to cook in general. So we're going to start this off. The first, I'm, I've got my recipe written down because I will forget to tell you if I don't write it down. The first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna whisk together, where's my bowl? Let's get the bowl and the whisk. We're gonna whisk together the flour. Here's the flour. Two and a half cups of flour. Uh, the baking soda. The baking powder. the salt, the cinnamon, and the ginger. So we've got all that in the bowl. We are going to whisk it together so it's all evenly combined because that's really important because you wanna get all the flavors together and everything. So let's get that whisk together. Got all that whisk together like that. Nice and good. So, See how it turns the flour, kind of a light brown color. So we're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna get the two sticks of butter. Right here, put it in the, the bowl of the mixer. Pull it over here where y'all can see. Set this over here. Okay, we're gonna put that other stick of butter in there. And we're going to put these two cups of sugar in here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to cream all this together. And it's probably going to take uh, four or five minutes on medium high. You're going to put it on medium high. So I'm going to get this all blended and creamed together. And then I'll get back with you. Okay, it's creamy now, and I forgot to mention that you really do have to scrape down the sides. When you're creaming something like this, you have to make sure to scrape the sides down, which I did. And now we're going to add the eggs, but we're gonna gradually add them in, slowly, because you don't want to clump them in there all at once. So let's put this back down, turn it on low, and we're just gonna add one at a time. I can, yeah. About one at a time, let it blend. I'm gonna get it blended in there. Throw in another one, let it blend in there. Because it's real important to get these ingredients mixed together. Okay, so we're gonna add that last egg in there. I'm gonna beat it a little bit, but now I'm gonna to have to scrape down the sides again because it gets stuck on the side of the bowl and you have all that deliciousness on the bowl and not mixed up properly, so your cake won't come out proper. So, oops, let's put that there. Let's mix it up. We're gonna let that run a little bit. I put my mess. Now we're gonna add the vanilla. Drop that tablespoon of vanilla in there. And I know you're thinking, ooh, that's a lot of vanilla. But these sweet potatoes are dense and they need, they need a lot of vanilla. So I'm gonna stop it now and we're gonna add the mashed sweet potatoes. This is two and a half cups of mashed sweet potatoes. So we're just gonna dump them in there with the other ingredients, just like so. I'm going to put it down and mix it. And we're going to beat it until it's smooth. So I'm going to let this beat until it's smooth and remember to scrape down the sides. So I'll, let me do that and we'll go to the next step. Okay, the next step is that we're going to add the dry ingredients. So we're going to alternate it. First, I'm going to add I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna add some of the flour mixture. So we're just gonna kind of push it in here. Mm -hmm. About a third of it is good. We're going to put that back down. We're gonna blend it. And then we're gonna add milk. And uh, probably about half of the milk. So let's do that because this is a cup of buttermilk. And remember, we have to scrape down the sides. Always, always scraping down the sides because it will not be blended well and you'll have ingredients missing. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna feed a little more. That's good. We're going to add some more of use this, the dry mixture in here. Let's do that like so. Mix it a little more. Looking lovely. We're going to add the rest of the buttermilk because the dry ingredients should be the last thing added. We're add the buttermilk. Remember, we gotta stop it and scrape down the sides. Let's do that. Stop it, scrape down the sides always. I figured this is time for a sweet potato cake. Halloween is coming up. Thanksgiving is coming up. This is a perfect cake. And you can do two nine-inch layers. I just prefer three layers because you get the delicious cream cheese frosting in the middle of the layers. That's why I do three layers, because I like the frosting. So let's just put the remainder of the dry ingredients in here. 
like so. Get it all out like that. Scrape the sides down some more. Get that off there. Put it back in there and blend it some more. This is a delicious cake, and I'm sure if you make it for your family, they will rave over it. So, let's get it all blended because we're going to get it into the oven next. That looks about right. It's lovely. You don't want to overbeat a cake because that's what makes it tough. People wonder why the cake comes out tough and not fluffy. And when you overbeat it, that's what causes it. So now we're going to scrape off the beater and I'm going to get them poured evenly into the pans and then we'll get them into the oven. Okay, I have the cake batter in the pans. So we're going to get them in the oven. We're going to cook them on a 350 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Um, it's when you insert a toothpick in the center, it should come out clean. So let's get them in the oven and I'm going to set the timer. Oh, I forgot. To, look at me. Excuse me. I left my pizza pan in the oven, but we're going to get these cakes in the oven. And we're gonna set it for 45 minutes, but I'm gonna check it after 35 minutes. So let's get the cooking time on here. Um, let's see. Takes a while to get it there. There we go. Got to set on 45 minutes, but like I say, I'm going to check it after 35 minutes. In the meantime, I've taken the cream cheese out the refrigerator and the butter, and we're going to let it get to room temperature so when the cake has done cool, has finished cooling, we'll frost it. So I have a little joke for you guys. What do you call a fat lying Cajun? Give up? Jambalaya. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. I don't want to offend anybody. It's just a little joke. Okay, guys, so we're going to let this cake cook, and then I'm going to take it out of the oven, and I'm going to cool it on the cooling rack. So when you take it out of the oven and let it cool for 10 minutes, then you flip it onto the cooling rack to let it cool completely. But let's just let that cook, and then when it's done and it's cooled off, we will make the frosting. Okay, it's time to take the cakes out after 35 minutes. It took 35 minutes for the toothpick to be inserted in there and come out clean. So I'm going to take them out and we're going to set them here to cool. And so we're going to cool them in the pans for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we're going to flip them out and put them on the cooling rack so that they'll cool the rest of the way. And once they're cool the rest of the way, I will show you how to make the frosting. Okay, y'all, well, the cake is cooled. It's completely cooled. It's been cooling for a very long time. And we're gonna make the frosting. And what we're gonna do to do the frosting, we're gonna take the cream cheese, and we're gonna open it up. I should have. I apologize because I should have had this open up before now. I just I always forget about opening this up. It's such a pain to do it. But uh, I want to ask you guys: Have you been going to my page and letting your friends know about my YouTube page, Kathy's Creole Kitchen? And have you been telling them that there's some great recipes on there? And have you been making them? I'm, I want to know that you guys are making it and you're enjoying the page because I just love doing it. And I, I really want to know if you guys love doing it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cream this 
one stick of butter and eight ounces of cream cheese. And we're just gonna mix it all together. Just gonna get it all blended together. Doesn't take long because I've been letting it cool. So, we're gonna off that. We're going to put, I'd say about half of this powdered sugar. This is four cups of powdered sugar. So I'm gonna put about half of it in here. And then I'm going to put a tablespoon of milk, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, that's it. One teaspoon of almond extract. I love almond extract, I love the way it smells. I love the way it tastes. And then I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in here, just a pinch, because you just wanna get that flavors all melted. So now we're gonna mix it some more. Get it all mixed together. Okay, got that mixed. And now we're gonna add the rest of the powdered sugar. all in there. Set that in the sink. Now we're going to get it all mixed up. This is going to be delicious. And Alicia, I just want you to know that I'm making this so you'll have a reference. You'll have some reference material. Since you asked about this sweet potato cake, that made me get into gear and make it. So Alicia, this cake's for you. So we gotta scrape down the sides. Remember what I told you about scraping down the sides? Gotta scrape down the sides, make sure it's all mixed. Just give it a taste. Mm, delicious. I think we're good, y'all. So it's all mixed. So now we're gonna start putting it on the cake. The first thing I do is I take a big dollop of it on here and just, I put a good heaping amount in between the layers because that's why I make three layers so that you can taste the frosting and not just the cake. So let me get this frosted and I'll let you take a look at it. All right, we finished the sweet potato cake, otherwise known as gâteau patadous. That's the French name for sweet potato cake. So we're gonna cut it now, and we're gonna take a look at how it looks on the inside. It's a perfect cake for Halloween or Thanksgiving because it's made with sweet potatoes, and sweet potatoes are orange and right up my alley. Look at that. It's a pretty good looking cake there. Mm. Take a look at it. Let's take a bite. Oh, so delicious. See that? I want to thank you for joining Kathy's Creole Kitchen. I want you guys to make this sweet potato cake because it is absolutely delicious. Heaven on a plate. You guys make it, let me know how you like it, and join me next time for Kathy's Creole Kitchen. Y'all have a wonderful holiday week and a happy Halloween. Bye-bye. See you guys later.